Hey everybody, Jason Laird from the Storm Tracker Weather Team with a quick little afternoon weather update for you. Big concern over the next few days is going to be rapid snow melt and area flooding. So let's take you over to the maps now and show you what we're anticipating on the future cast. Future cast showing a lot of clouds building into the area. I do anticipate these clouds are going to be more, uh, more so fog, especially along the Missouri River and areas of bodies of water. So just kind of keep that in mind. I don't think it's going to be overly cloudy, even though the forecast is anticipating clouds more so fog into these areas. All right, the other concern again is going to be flooding with this uh, rapid snow melt uh, and a little bit of rain moving over top of the higher elevation by Wednesday. National Weather Service has issued again a flood watch for a good chunk of western Montana. So what does that tell us? Basically the conditions are right for potential flooding. We haven't seen any actual flooding yet. If we do see some flooding, they'll likely take a few of these areas and bump them up to a flood warning. However, right now it's just a watch, meaning that we are going to continue to see rapid snow melt and we are going to see areas that potentially could see some flooding. We'll continue to monitor this and let you know with those stream forecasts how everything is shaping out. Low temperatures tonight, still pretty chilly, especially along the high line. Single digits there. Cut Bank 14, Great Falls 2021 into Helena, a little bit warmer down into Billings at about 25. I do anticipate fairly clear skies tonight playing into those cooler temperatures. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to see some pretty seasonably warm temperatures. Great Falls, 55. Cut Bank cooler, though, 38. There's still some Arctic air that just doesn't want to move out of the area up north. That's going to test for about 28 degrees, but check that out. Lewistown, 48. Helena, 54. Beautiful temperatures tomorrow. But again, with these temperatures, snow melt is going to ramp up tenfold. So just keep that in mind if you live near creeks and streams and rivers. Keep that in mind. And then again, ice jams also the big concern. Now with ice jams, what are they? Basically when that ice starts to thaw out, you're looking at big chunks of ice that uh, break up and those chunks of ice float down river, get into kind of a narrow channel or a narrowed portion of the river and get jammed up and cause significant flooding behind the ice jam. When those ice jams break loose, everything in their path gets pretty damaged, so just, just keep that in mind. All right, next weather system we've been talking about. By Tuesday morning, we should see the impacts of this system starting to make landfall. That's going to crush down that area of high pressure that we've had planted over top of the region. So by Wednesday, especially Wednesday evening, likely rain-snow mix into the high terrain as that area of low pressure tracks in. Um, we're not going to really see much in the way of moisture break over top of the mountains and make it east until uh, more into Thursday. But some building clouds on Wednesday, rain snow mix into the high terrain, which again is just going to continue to increase the flooding potential. And then that system is going to continue to track into the state. Right now, forecast models aren't doing a great job of anticipating this system. So we'll, once it makes landfall, we'll have a little bit better idea. And I'll have obviously further updates tonight on the news.